Like it has been more than seven and a half years since Abby Williams and Libby German were found dead near the Monon High Bridge in Delphi. And now the trial for the man who's accused in those murders is finally about to begin. On this Monday night, the first day of jury selection is now wrapping up. Our crews have been busy in the courtroom all day today watching the events unfold. So let's start right now with our senior investigative reporter, Bob Siegel, who joins us live from Allen County with the very latest tonight. Hi, Bob. Hi, Ann. Hi, Scott. Well, the Delphi murders trial now has a jury. After seven hours of questioning, 14 out of 16 jury members are seated. That includes eight women and six men. Twelve of them will be actual jurors, two are alternates, and two more will be chosen when jury selection wraps up tomorrow. Now, these are all Allen County residents, including a nurse, a school counselor, a stay-at-home mom, a, a transportation director, and a seminary professor. The 14 jurors were chosen from among 52 different folks who came in, Allen County residents who came in to be questioned today. Some told the court they'd really rather not be here, but they are agreeing to serve as jurors due to a sense of civic responsibility. Others said they are happy to serve on this jury. Many of the jurors were dismissed, as you might imagine, because either they explained to the judge that they have their own personal biases and would not be good jurors, or they have hardships, things going on at home or at work that they simply cannot find uh, alternates to to be able to serve as a juror. And we should point out, this is not going to be a short trial. We were told today, actually the jury was told today by the prosecutor, he plans to call more than 50 witnesses during the Delphi murders trial. And if you think that's a lot, the, the uh, defense team told the jury it plans to call more than 120 uh, different witnesses during this trial. So again, it's not going to be quick. Jurors today also got to hear many opening statements from both sides. It started with Carroll County Prosecutor Nick McLeland. He told the jury this is about the brutal murder of two girls by a guy on the Monon High Bridge. He said that guy left a clue at the crime scene, an unspent bullet. And he said, quote, the state will prove Richard Allen is bridge guy. Then the defense had their turn. Attorney Brad Rosie told jurors Richard Allen is innocent. He said the state has, in his words, soft evidence. And, quote, Richard Allen confessed to a crime he did not commit. Now, all that is going to be reiterated Friday when the full opening statements begin up in Carroll County. But first things first. First, we need two more jurors, two more alternates to be seated. Then the jury is going to be transported Thursday up uh, closer to Delphi, where they are going to be sequestered for a full month that this trial is expected to last. Of course, 13 News will be at that trial to bring you coverage every day. Anna Scott. All right, Bob Siegel reporting live for us tonight in Fort Wayne. Thank you so much. Well, as you can imagine, the families of the victims in this case, Abby Williams and Libby German, have waited for so long in agony, more than seven years in this search for justice. Today, Libby's grandma, Becky Patty, shared her thoughts in a post on Facebook, saying in part, they say this trial will give us closure. What is that anyway? I guess we will see in a month's time. In the end, you are never coming back to us. Nothing changes. The missing you will never stop. The pain of losing you will never stop. Loving you will never stop. There will never be real healing. Maybe when this is over, we will learn to move forward. Maybe not. One thing is for certain though, we will live our lives loving and honoring you. We have been covering this trial for more than seven and a half years to get you up to speed with the major moments and developments that have happened ever since that brutal crime back in 2017. We have made our Delphi trial special available for you on demand 24 seven at WTHR plus on the app there. You can download our free app on Apple TV, Amazon Fire Stick and Roku. Just search WTHR in the respective app store.